Shadow people are said to be shadow-like creatures of supernatural origin, which appear as dark forms in people's visions. Reports of shadow people are similar to ghost sightings, but differ in that shadow people are not reported as having any human features. Most accounts of shadow people are described as black humanoid silhouettes with no mouths, noses, eyes, or any expressions whatsoever. Though witnesses have described child-sized humanoids or shapeless masses, they are described as a black mass and their movement is often quick and disjointed. So here are five scary stories of people who have witnessed a shadow person. A few years ago, I went on a nighttime walk with a good friend through a cemetery. Its name was Sacred Blood Cemetery, as if it wasn't creepy enough already. After a while, we felt creeped out, but we didn't see anything so we decided to head out. We turned around and about 30 feet away appeared a black, dark outline of something peering at us from behind a tree. Something felt sinister. My heart started pounding and the air seemed really thin. I tried to dismiss it at first as being part of the tree. But as we walked around the tree, it seemed to move with us, to remain hidden behind the tree. It was absolutely terrifying. About 10 years ago, me and my sister were home alone. I've never really believed in the paranormal, but I've always been open to possibilities. It was around 3am, my sister was downstairs watching the telly, and my room was upstairs and I had to go to the bathroom. Now, the bathroom faces the flight of stairs, and you could always see the glare from the light off the streets illuminating the living room and downstairs. But this one time, because I always looked downstairs while going to the loo, there was no glare. There was no glow from the telly my sister was watching. All I could see that one time was this blackness walking up the stairs or hovering. It was the first time I felt this terror within me. I froze. I froze there for a couple of seconds. I ran to my room, turned on the lights and sat on my bed trying to figure out what had just happened. I didn't know what it was or what it was called. It looked like a shadow. It was coming towards me and it scared me. This house is very creepy. I was a kid, maybe 10 years old. I'd just gone to bed and was wide awake. It takes me a long time to get to sleep with the window open in my room. I looked at the window and there was a shadow that looked like the outline of a man looking in. My room was on the second story of our house and we had peak roofs, so I'm 99% sure it wasn't just a person looking in. It was a shadow. I screamed and ran to my parents' room and told them that I'd just seen a shadow looking in the window. They went and looked and it was gone. It still haunts me to this day. I've always been open spiritually, especially as a kid, and have seen ghosts and spirits before, but it's nothing compared to this shadow person I saw when I was 13. For starters, I don't know what these things are. I've done lots of researching to try and make sense of these entities, but I honestly have no idea. They are not ghosts or spirits, as I've seen them before. What I saw was not something in the corner of my eye, or something that looked white and transparent, like I've seen previously with other entities. They are basically a black mass. This is what I saw. I was trying to sleep, tossing and turning, and I turned over on my opposite side to face my doorway which was on the other side of my room. My door was wide open because I was frightened as a kid, especially of the night, as I always saw mysterious figures. This particular night, standing in my doorway was this black figure of a man standing six foot tall. The black figure of the man stood with his arms by his side, and you could not see through him. It looked three-dimensional. This figure didn't have a hat or red eyes like I've read of other people. It was just a silhouette of a man. I sat up as soon as I saw it, and I stared at it for a good five seconds. I wasn't scared for some reason, and I can't really explain why. I think it was just shock. I asked what's wrong, as I assumed it was my mother. When I got no reply, I assumed it was my brother, and asked the same question and still no reply. By that point, I'd realised what was happening, and pulled the covers over my head. I looked up ten seconds later, and it was gone. I was about ten years old at the time, and I'd moved into a different state with my mum and her new husband. I was home alone on the computer and sitting in an open area. All the lights in the house were turned off. The only light I had on was the one coming from my computer screen and from the running TV. 
You know when you get that feeling as if someone's watching you? I looked around to see if anything was in the room, and I just saw this dark human figure standing near the stairs. It was a black mass. The hairs on my neck stood up. It was just standing there, looking at me, with one hand on the banister. I grabbed my laptop and ran to my room, repeatedly calling my parents.